So I'm at the point now of assembling my um, my engine. I have the crankshaft and the main bearings in, and I'm just trying to figure out the meshing of the cam gear to the crankshaft gear here. Now, this is I'm finding this a bit confusing. Um, I've got the red book, which is indispensable to have, but often confusing uh, for somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing or hasn't done it before. And the red book says that um, when assembling an engine with different pinions, check through 360 degrees that slight backlash exists. Whilst excessive backlash is undesirable, the result of gears mesh too tight is usually expensive. So this is something I want to get right and I've read about it and I've heard people talk about it but unless you've actually seen it it's very hard to know what excessive backlash means. Um, I was going to go off and, and visit um, somebody today who was going to show me because he's experienced with these things and, and he'll be able to teach me exactly what I should be looking for. Um, unfortunately we've, we've had to postpone that so I'm sort of looking at it by myself but one thing he suggested was that when you're turning the gears there's enough clearance between the teeth for a piece of paper uh, which is about four thou thick. Now instead of a piece of paper I've, I've got these little shims, metal shims. Uh, this one's actually five thou thick and I'm trying to figure out if I can use this to tell if these gears are meshing correctly and I've got the correct backlash. So if I, if I turn the gears, you can see there is a little bit of backlash there. Now, is it enough to just look for that little bit of wobble between the teeth like that? Um, the, with this set of gears, the, it does all turn fairly smoothly. It doesn't feel like it's binding up anywhere. Um, some spots feel a little bit tighter than others, but it's it's definitely not jamming up. Um, and so what I'm wondering is, is it, is it enough to sort of put a little shim in there like that and then turn the gear and make sure the gear still turns on every set of teeth? Um, in this case, with this, with this 5 thou shim, there isn't anywhere where it locks up. Um, there are a couple of places where it feels a bit tight. And then if I use a, a 3 thou shim, it's not too tight. So what I'm wondering is, is that enough clearance? Is that enough of this backlash that they're talking about? Now I, I'm assuming I'm measuring it on the right face as well because of course the, the, um, the crank rotates clockwise. So I'm guessing it's it, that the thrust face is on the front of these teeth on the, on the cam here, uh, on the crank here, sorry. So, is doing it this way enough to tell me that this thing isn't going to blow up when I try to run it? Um, this is one of the, the slightly tight places, you can see it. It just pinches it. Um, but if I use my slightly mangled point 0.3, which if we put that in there, it still rotates fine. Um, and even though it's tight there, there is still backlash. So the question is, are these gears suitable to use or not? Um, in a few places I've noticed the, the very edges of the teeth in a couple of places do get a little bit chipped or worn. Um, I think it's just chipping from damage of the, the, the parts sitting in boxes and things. So usually in that case what I've done is just taken a, um, a tungsten burr in the Dremel and just smooth them off so there's no really rough bits or little pieces that can break off. Um, I'll put this up online and see what people think.